Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Ajax here and uh, today we're just going to be doing a settings guide. We're going through our settings and finding the best settings to you know, make your game run the smoothest, um, best FPS, you know, make the game more enjoyable, easier to play, honestly. You need good settings if you want to like take the game serious, play good. Uh, so let's let's just jump right into it, okay? General here. Uh, I keep my enemy highlight color on red. That's just like, I like red. It stands out. I know red's an enemy. Okay, for mouse sensitivity, uh, this is what I'm racking with. Um, what I did is I found a, like an online converter and put my Overwatch sense in there and it converted it. So like this is, I'm using the same sense as I use in Overwatch. I can build that muscle memory and it's the same. So definitely you're going to want to find like an online converter. Find your sensitivity for Valorant. That's, that, that's a big thing. Invert mouse. Nobody really wants that. Cycle the next weapon. That's like if you played Counter Strike, you know, your QQ, you keep cycling through your weapons. You can have that on if you want. Um, mini map. I, I have it on fixed. Keep player at center. Just like it's easier for me to learn the maps. It keeps it in one spot, you know. Um, you can mess around with zoom stuff like how much you want to see. Uh, I have map regions on always, so I can learn the maps, the callouts, it's very important. Here for other, um, I mean, these, these top four are all per personal preference, but I would have bullet tracers on, so you can see your bullets, that's like a big thing, learn sprays. Here we go, here's my, um, my movement keys, this is pretty basic, I don't know. I think I'm a little weird when it comes to, like, my shift and my caps, like, I don't, that's just what I'm comfortable with. So just find what works for you okay so in the equipment tab here um you're gonna want to make sure your abilities are in a comfortable spot for you i got cv and x here that's that's just what works for me i guess uh but it's definitely important that those are in a good spot that you can reach them comfortably okay for crosser crosser there's a lot i've never seen a a game with this much customization on a crosshair i think that's pretty cool it's a little excessive almost but like really customize it um how you want it so what i'm using personally right now is i have all the outer lines turned off i don't really like those and i'm just rocking with this for the inner lines you know just very basic i probably switch around find the one i like yeah all right and Probably the real reason you're here is this is where you're going to fix your FPS. If you're having shitty FPS, graphics quality, like this is, this is where you're going to fix it. So for resolution, you have a lot of options. Um, I personally play on 1920 by 1080, but that that's only because the video quality looks better for you guys. If I didn't have videos or stream, I'd play on probably 16 by 900 or 1440 by 900 i don't know that's just what i like because it makes the, the outlines of people bigger it doesn't look as good but i find it a lot easier to play but i keep it on native here just so the video quality looks better display mode this is big i know a lot of people like to play in windowless full screen or windowed full screen but so they can like alt tab out and stuff from quicker but that uh, uh, kills your FPS. Full screen is definitely the move. You're going to want to keep it there. So the FPS limits here um, for this. I believe this is if you're on a laptop. It doesn't really matter. Um, in the menu, I mean, it doesn't. Uh, you're not really playing, so it doesn't matter. You can have this to whatever. In background, that's like if you're all tabbed and you got the game running or something. So that's not a huge thing. But then here, this this always limit FPS. Uh, I have that on and I have it at 150. I know my computer could easily handle. Like if I didn't have it set to anything, I'd probably get 250, 300 frames easy. If I just max this at 150, uh, my monitor has 144 hertz. And if I just max this at 150 and it's always at 150, it stays 150 no matter what I'm doing. So I really like that. Just there's no FPS drop. That's just personally what I do. 
Okay, here's a, here's a big tab. Video graphics quality. I I keep all my stuff on low. Like I'm very competitive. I want the best FPS. Like doesn't really bother me how my game looks. I just want my shit to be very smooth, run the best. Like, so that's why I have all these on low. I'm not really sure how to pronounce this vignette. Add that on off though it darkens that like corners so i have it off just so corners aren't dark i can see people better v-sync definitely off okay so for these two options here anti-aliasing and whatever the fuck this is filtering these are what i have i've messed around with them a little bit i honestly i, I don't really see like what they like what they do i know you definitely don't want FXAA for anti-aliasing, either one of these two or none. And for this filtering one, I have it on 16, but you could go eight or whatever works for you. One, if you're really struggling for FPS, I believe these are just, they make the edges look like not as cartoony, like more like realistic. I have roof clarity on and enhanced gun skin, gun skin visuals on. It's just, I don't know. I don't have any skins, but if I were, if I keep playing this game, get skins, I want them to look nice. So I have that on for our distortion here. I have distortion off just because like with some of the abilities, it makes it like foggy and it's harder to see. If you have it off, you just be able to see better and shadows off. Like I have them off just because at FPS, basically sometimes you can like people shadows around corners and stuff but i just have it turned off just simply for the fps and then for stats here this will like show stuff up in the left hand corner here like the fps uh your ping you know how your gpu is doing cpu uh the reason why i have these off is because if you're streaming or recording it it uses more bandwidth to like just have them up there I just simply have them turned off. And audio is, you know, whatever works for your, your audio setup. But basically, guys, putting, having good settings is a big thing. And it, it will make you better. But it's not going to be an auto switch. Like, you're not going to put these settings on and go pro, like... What makes the settings good is just playing the game getting familiar with it like it sure helps a lot but if you want to take your game to the next level you really need to just play the game practice get familiar just learn everything about it that's gonna wrap it up for the settings guys um, you know you can change them however like it's personal preference these are just mine and what i personally think are the best if they like update the game and stuff and new stuff comes out i'll make like an updated version but for now here in the beginning of this the beta if you have access and you're trying to get the best settings these are what you're going to want to work with but like i said it's all personal preference that's going to do it for this video guys make sure if you enjoyed this to like subscribe notifications all that and uh thanks for watching